What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Okay, I wanted to talk about the upcoming legendary fire summoner so i know we haven't even gotten the stats for the first legendary summoner which is going to be life and uh that is still probably like half a million packs away at this point but i wanted to take a quick peek ahead to the second summoner that is slated uh, at least according to the most recent list that they gave us so we're gonna get life first fire second and just speculate on some of the abilities. Now, I think that there is something very, very special about this new ability that will be dropping with the upcoming rewards cards. Uh, it is called Reflection Shield, and it was given to us, or at least the details were given to us in full uh, during the Ranked Rewards update. Now, just a little bit of a reminder, the Reflection Shield ability makes the character immune to all indirect or reflected damage. That means it will not take damage from Blast, Thorns, Return Fire, or Magic Reflect. I, I still haven't got an answer to if backfire is included, but that is besides the point right now. What I actually started thinking about is, could this ability be given to the upcoming legendary fire summoner for Chaos Legion? Now hear me out. This could be a very powerful ability, and it is very specifically targeted at someone like Yodin. Now here's the thing. When it comes to balancing the game out, you could put this ability on a different summoner, meaning a different splinter summoner, and that would be okay, but the problem is for newer players who have to play maybe a game that is only fire, well, then Yoden is still going to dominate that, right? Especially if the legendary fire summoner for Chaos Legion isn't up to par. So... My thought process in this, and I could be wrong, and I'm, I'm happy to be proven, uh, proven wrong if somebody has a better reasoning for it, is if you're going to try to make a counter to Yoden, why not put it within the Fire Splinter as well? Because then at least new players would have the option to somewhat nerf Yoden's abilities by playing this card. On top of that, this card also serves as a pretty decent counter to Mylar, to... Um, Oh, gosh, I can't remember his name. The Magic Reflect Death Summoner, as well as uh, Leer Deep Swimmer, right? So all those have kind of like reflect damage or indirect damage with them. So the reason, again, that I'm putting this in fire is just because of the fact that if you get stuck in a fire-only game in modern format and the other person has Yodin and your fire summoner just can't pull off the shots, then this is a, you know, this would be a perfect reason to have that there so that Yodin would have somebody worth matching up against. Again, if you get something like this that essentially nullifies Yodin, a part of a part of it could be, well, you're looking at a card that is just way too powerful, right? And maybe only has one specific use. Although I would say that this ability on a summoner would be not unexpected, but definitely incredibly powerful. So I don't know if we get it on the Legendary Fire Summoner, although, as I've said, that would probably be one of my top picks, at least at this point in time. Now, if we were to see it on another Splinter, just to speculate out a little bit further... Because it's so powerful, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it on something like Dragon, um, and that would probably be that would probably be the only one. Now, again, I, the reason I like it on Fire is because of the fact that it it kind of counters something like Leer Deep Swimmer so well, and it plays off that fire water little rivalry that they have. But at the end of the day, what what will need to happen in terms of nerfing Yoden, and when I say nerfing Yoden, it's it's really just countering or balancing Yoden is the fact that this will need to be an ability that is played by a summoner. The thing is, and I'm going to go ahead and now flip to the other side. I'm going to straw man my argument. On the flip side of this, I have been able to beat Yoden in, circumst in certain circumstances with cards like Kelia or summoners like Kelia and the water team. I've been able to beat Yoden with Quicks the Devious. And I know that Kitty is also someone that uh, can beat Yoden quite regularly too, as well as the Leer Deep Swimmer. But I, I don't know. I, I still think Yoden overpowers in many situations. Now, taking the untamed summoners out of the mix, I just named two summoners that I think could have a significant or have had significant impact for me in the past, which would be Kelia and Quicks the Devious. So 
if there are summoners that can already beat Yodin, right? Maybe not as regularly, but they're not just falling flat to him every single time. But if there are summoners out there that can beat Yodin, then maybe the argument is that you don't need that. You don't need to nerf Yodin that much by throwing this onto another summoner. Um, maybe this is just something that comes on as an ability for certain monsters and maybe to put it on the fire monsters that come out in the rewards cards or maybe in Rift Watchers that will allow you to have fire monsters to compete against Yodin, even though you don't need to have it on your actual summoner. Hopefully that makes sense. So that that's my thoughts with this right now. Again, just, just somewhat... Just somewhat thinking ahead, speculating, very raw, but I wanted to put this out there because as I've dug more into this and what this, this ability, Reflection Shield, and what it could potentially do in terms of game meta, uh, Yoden still seems to be one of the, the top cards out there, right? Still very powerful. And I think that this could be one of the ways that they quote unquote nerf him or balance the game out within the fire perspective. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're going to have one powerful fire summoner in modern format, you might as well put a second one in there too so that people kind of have a choice and can fight either way because reflection shield is going to be handy in many other situations as well. But if at the end of the day, maybe the two most powerful summoners uh, both end up being fire, that's not a bad scenario because at least with the newer summoner, right, whatever the newer summoner ends up being, but having reflect shield, reflection shield, at least players would have access to that and they're not having to, to pay hundreds of thousands, hundreds of dollars per BCX, I should say. So that's all I have for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, all speculation, no inside information here. Just something for me to get excited about as we look further down the road. So I'll catch you all later in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.